Hey everyone, to stick with us versus herd. I know I've been a little MIA on the videos, but I'm gonna be back here. I've been busy putting in the work. What I've been doing is putting together a options trading training. Uh, it's gonna be called the Kickstart Challenge, it's gonna be on May 24th that we're going to be announcing within the next 24 hours. So if you want to join that, if you're, it's geared towards new traders. So if you wanna join that, um, we'll be having information coming out on our Facebook group, Discord. So if you want to join those, links are below. If you made money today, comment below, got paid. If you lost money today, comment, learned a lesson. If you could do me a big favor, hit the like button. There's going to be more content coming, I promise. I didn't leave. I didn't leave you hanging. Just been really busy trying to get everything together here. And it seems since I've been working here we've had the market going pretty crazy on this inflation data we have the pipeline crisis there's turmoil in the mid east middle east i mean this is this is some crazy crazy price action and people are like is the market crashing is this the dip to buy the dip keeps dipping i don't know what to do and honestly I'm just focusing on the price action. I mean, there's a lot of noise right now and there's always a lot of noise in the market. Like there's a lot of noise in the pandemic when the market was crashing. There's all these different things, all these key factors, blah, blah, blah. But what matters to us as traders is price. Price is everything to us, right? So we're gonna check out some price, kind of go see, see, see what it's doing, see where obviously we're gonna be looking at cues of the NASDAQ, see where we're at. And we did cut below, as you can see here, the 50 day moving average on, on NASDAQ. And we're coming back down to where we were back in March. You know, back in March, we, you know, we, 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 we crashed pretty hard from 338 down to um, 3300. So almost, you know, we had, we had about a little bit more than a 10%, about a 15% correction here. Again, come up, we broke above this resistance. And again, we're coming back down to this support area of like the 310, 315 area where we, where, we, where we chopped a little bit back in March. Now, you know, looking looking at this data here, you know, people are definitely concerned, right? We did drop a lot in a short amount, amount of time, but that, that's how it is. You know, bull markets, we grind up. Bear markets, we drop like a rock and, you know, that's that's it, it is what it is. But kind of kind of looking at things here, you know, implied volatility. If you if you're looking a couple a couple of things here, um, you know, implied volatility definitely was catching some lows here. This is an implied volatility chart. You can't see this, but this indicator right down here it measures implied volatility. And yes, we did get a bit of a spike, but this spike is nowhere like back in here when we had this drop, or back in um, back in here when we had this spike up up in, in, in this drop back in back in February and March, right? So here we are again, but we're not getting that kind of implied volatility sp spike. That is one thing that I'm saying that it's not super rich to sell premiums right now because we're not getting that. We're getting a little bit of implied volatility spike, but it's, it's, it's nothing crazy on, on the queues at least. And you know, next top, I mean, it could be, it could be the 200 day moving average, but right now I'm just seeing which way are we gonna go? Are we gonna chop here? I'm not laying in too heavily like today. I did, I did scalp some Facebook contracts, Facebook remain rather strong, and Netflix contracts that I'm still holding in a swing position uh, for, for tomorrow. But, and those are calls by the way. So so I, I am trading those on, on, on Webull because um, I'm gonna be making some videos on Webull here shortly for the, for the Webull users or I was just trying to see it. I don't, I don't, as you guys know, I don't normally trade on Webull but trying to see how the platform is overall just for executing contracts and multiple contracts and that kind of thing. So. Back to the cues. So right now, I mean, we're, we're we're in this bounce zone where it could bounce here. We could flush down to 300, which would be, you know, I, I think right now, worst case scenario coming down to the 200 day. If we look at SPY, SPY came down to the 50 day. But as you can see here, this, this trend is still very much intact. I mean, 10 day, 200 day rising, 10 day, uh, 50 days rising, and the 10 day is starting to curl where we just been, you know, SPY has just been, just ripping all year, all year. I mean, there's been some pullbacks. There's been some pullbacks, but as you can see here, look at this implied volatility spike. This one would be a little bit different. As you can see here, we had an implied volatility spike here, major, uh, a major implied volatility spike on SPY, but it came back to up where the levels were back in, in February and March. So just kind of seeing what's happening here. Um, on SPY, we did touch the 50 day and we did bounce. We did close above the 50 day. 
but it's going to be interesting to see what happens tomorrow. The 10 year treasury yield is spiking like crazy, which is, you know, the bad indicator for stocks. You know, uh, the other thing is with the Fed, they might have to, due to inflation, may have to raise rates sooner than expected in 2023. Now that now it's like a higher impro higher probability in 2022, December 2020. Uh, sorry, December 2022. Um, at the end of the at the end of the 2022. So <clears throat> we'll see what happens there. I know I kind of rambled there. I don't I don't know what happened, but um, higher probability of raising rates, Treasury yield spiking. And but we're still we're still maintaining trend here. So I'm not freaking out. I'm not buying the dip per se, but I'm more about evaluating where the price is right now. If you look at like a stock like Tesla, Tesla has come down to the 200 day moving average. It hasn't touched it yet. It did come down. But again, we are in correction territory and we are in bounce territory well as well last time it came down to like the 560 570 it did dip down to 540 and got bought back up to 700 where we've been ever since now we're coming back down to these levels for a retest now we'll see are there buyers here or not is this gonna flush if if it is i do think it's gonna come down to like the 400 area on tesla i mean the one of the things that we were talking about is that you know this this pump a little bit artificial i believe i think that people just kind of piled in it was the meme stock people there was massive short squeezes people blowing up accounts on the short side and i talk about people i mean funds i mean things got things got definitely heated when it went from 400 to 900 and this this was like the pre pre uh game stop to game stops right where tesla was just running amok and now it's it's looking for some price discovery so what i see is Tesla is looking for a fair price. What price is that going to be? We don't know yet. So that's what we're trying to see. It's right now it's discovering this, this area here. It has definitely dropped from the 900s. It tried to make another run up to 800, failed. Now it's it's, it's kind of peeing back and forth, peeing back and forth. So we'll see, does it get saved here? If not, potential flush down to the 400, 450 area is what I'm looking at. Facebook, another stock that I was trading today, looks rather strong even in this. I mean, you know, we're, we're back to where we were just before they reported earnings. They, they were hovering right around 300. It did have, um, it did drop down to the 200 day moving average back here in the 250s. Back in February, has more than recovered, ripped to 330 and has gone nothing but down. So this is, this is down about 10% from where it was uh, April 29th, which was, you know, like two weeks ago. So for me, I'm not freaking out. I'm not be like, oh yeah, I got to sell my 401k. I got to do all this. Like, just relax, relax. You know, price is still, we're, we're still doing fine. Everything's going fine. I mean, are we going to crash? I mean, could we have a flash crash? We could, anything, anything could happen. But I mean, worst case, I mean, it could come down to like the 275 area, pretty strong support. Amazon, one of the things that was telling about Amazon was they had amazing 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 earnings a lot of tech stocks did and yet the stock went down like facebook amazon popped up try to break out double topped here and came straight down now it's back into this range so again it's we we we, we potentially could have a consolidation here uh year here in 2021 sure it's been it's been consolidating for what six seven months but if you look in the big scheme of things if you're looking at a stock like amazon you know this thing has has ripped and now it's consolidating so like if you look at the multi-year chart here you know you see uh basically a bull flag here it's it's ran hard and it's bull flag and consolidation building consolidation which is great for long-term growth but when we're trading intraday if you're an investor this is great great news if you're a long-term investor you're on a hold 10 20 years whatever it looks great looks great but trading it you know Coming down to the bottom of the range, I'm looking to get a little long here, kind of see what happens. It potentially could come down here to the 300s, maybe even test 2900. Um, it really depends on how, how bad the overall market gets. Could we flush? Sure. But I mean, this stock basically ran from 1700 to 3400 nonstop. So what do you think is gonna happen? It's gotta stop sometime. It can't just go up forever. I mean, there's, there's years of consolidation where we just being back and forth between two numbers. Um, and it's still it's still bullish. You know, this is a, still a bullish chart. Um, so there's there's a lot of stocks in this category. So what I would urge you to do, I'm not going to be too long on this video. Just look at the price. Take a step back. Forget about your positions. It doesn't matter what your positions were are in. I know it's been a rough couple months, but take a step back. 
evaluate where we are and concentrate on the price. So if you watch this video in the end, comment, watch to the end. And as always, stay safe, stay green. It's us versus herd.